All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports FC 24 Everton career mode. Today, we're taking on the great Manchester United. And they are in fourth position as it stands. We are in 15th, which is uh, better than we are in real life. But the win yesterday against Nottingham Forest definitely helped, guys. So Everton beat Nottingham Forest 1-0 last night. Um, and yeah, it was a brilliant performance. Honestly, it was a bit of a shit game. I'm not going to lie to you. It was a bit of a boring game. And I think Ashley Young aside, I think Sean Dyche is just doing a phenomenal job. I don't get his persistence with Ashley Young. I really don't. But uh, other than that, he's doing great. And that win kind of gives us that bit of hope that we needed, I feel like. Because we were rock bottom of the table. Everything was going against us. Results going against us with a 10-point deduction. It wasn't looking good. But that win puts us right back into the frame uh, to be avoiding relegation. So hopefully uh, the decision gets overturned or at least... Uh, the uh, punishment gets reduced because it's clearly an obscene punishment. It shouldn't be that extreme. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Uh, we have 10 points in this game here through nine games. Or 10 points through nine games, yeah. And we're looking to get into the top half of the table, all right? We had two wins in our last three, which was decent. Um, but we need to keep the form up. Uh, Beto had a hat trick in the last game, which was phenomenal. Uh, but we need to keep that form up, as I said. And we're going to jump into the match against Manchester United. Mason Mount there, uh, Anthony, Sancho, Eriksson, McTominay. Scott McTominay's the captain. Go on, Scotty boy. That's my man right there. Scott McTominay, love you, pal. I miss I miss my little PGA Tour 2K23 matches versus Scott. They were so good, man. They were they were a blast. Uh, is the squad big enough? Everybody's going to play their part. Absolutely, the squad is big enough. Uh, Manchester United are a real threat, of course. We're not thinking about losing, all right? We're just thinking about what's going to happen when we win this game all right how will you motivate your players today we have professional standards i'm not worried about my team you can't pick and choose your game i'm not worried about them all right they show up they fight each and every week we i'm worried that. about the bloody scaling difficulty in eafc i'm worried about that but i'm not worried about my team's commitment all right matoma's fitness maybe not quite high enough to play yet beto's a little tired so i'm gonna start calvert lewin um i'm gonna start matoma though fuck it i don't give a damn anymore uh, we'll put Duranville on the bench uh, over Lewis Dobbin. Dobbin's up to a 66, though. He seems to be getting better fairly quickly. Tarkovsky with an absolutely phenomenal performance yesterday, man. Tarkovsky, you absolute legend. That was a world-class performance from him yesterday um, against... Um, why, am I, why am I tripping up on the name? Against bloody Nottingham Forest. There we go. All right, this is the team I'm going to go with. Pickford, Patterson, Tarkovsky, Branthwaite... Para, Branthwaite was also great yesterday. The two center backs and the two center mids, uh, not these two. It was actually Ganagay and Garner um, because Onana is still a little bit injured. Jack Harrison, I thought, did well. Um, Susech doesn't play for us in real life, so he didn't do that well. But without Calvert-Lewin, we did struggle up top. Uh, Beto struggled a little bit, I think. Um, he, I feel like Beto's just trying a little too hard. And that's his biggest problem at the moment. He's just like trying a little bit too hard uh, to get that goal. Um, Tremitty came on and he was completely isolated. We were already 1-0 up at that point. And, you know, he really just had an impossible job. So I want to see more of Tremitty, though. I want to see him get a full run out. Uh, I kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed in batches of what I've seen so far. But hopefully Dom will be back fit for the next game anyway. Susec finds our boy Pedro Para. Let's try and get a, a, a run, a really good run going here, guys. All right, because I think we can get it together. We just need to uh, look at that. Look at that start. Look at that start. Here's Matoma. Oh, oh my. Good save, Pickford. That was a great pass. Jesus. Great pass from McTominay, I think it was. And Jaden Sancho gets the first real chance of the game here. Right. My biggest problem defensively is bringing players out of position. I'm going to try my best not to do that anymore. Great tackle from Jared Branthwaite. Phenomenal tackle from Branthwaite. Matoma. What is that pass? I don't know, but you know what? It's going to work out because Matoma got it. Matoma finds Susech. Susech finds Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin back to Matoma. Matoma back to Susech. Susech to Harrison. Is he onside? Yes! He's offside. Ah. Uh, how close was this? I don't know, man. That was a brilliantly worked goal as well. Brilliantly worked goal. Let's have a look and see. He passes it. Oh, it's so close. His bloody... His kneecap is offside. God almighty. All right. 
Harrison can't believe it. It was a great finish from him. It was really good build-up play there as well. And a good start to the game so far. Oh, good save pick for it, thank God. I was all over the place there. I was worrying too much about getting someone back into position there, to be honest. I was worrying a little too much about it. All right, all good. Oh, referee! Yellow card, surely, for Jaden Sancho. Disgusting tackle. By the way, guys, if you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code, uh, especially this December. Uh, Rogue Energy are running a campaign for its creators where they get double commission on all orders uh, from people who use their code. So if you use my code in December, I'll get double the commission that I normally get. So shout out to everyone who's been ordering Rogue recently. Really appreciate that. Uh, if you want to help support me even further and you're thinking of trying Rogue anyway, uh, December is the month to do so. Get it before Christmas and give it a bash. See what you think. It's worth the go, I think. Garner with a beautiful ball over the top to find Nathan Patterson. That's gorgeous. Patterson back post. Matoma! Oh! Matoma's actually quite a, a tall lad. Good block from uh, from Garner. United are, uh, are pushing here, though. And good block this time from Pedro Parra. Good save from Pickford. United are coming with a vengeance here. What is that? What the fuck was that? I don't understand that clearance at all. I, I held square for so long. Oh, my God, dude. It's like, it's like they really want United to score right now. Really want to, them to score right now. What is happening? Now's my chance, Jack. Come on, counter-attack here. Let's go. It's your moment, Jackie. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Matoma saved! Have to do better there. Matoma's goosed as well, man. He's going to have to come off here in the second half. What a block by Branthwaite. Come on. Go now, Susech. Do something. Because he have not done jack shit so far. He finds Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin beats his man. Dominic Calvert-Lewin! Yes! Dominic Calvert-Lewin! Scores his goal. An Everton lead. Come on. Get in, boys. That's massive. Dom, dom, dommy, dom. Dom, dom, dommy, dom. Dom, dom, dommy, dom. Dom, dom, dommy, dom. Hey. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's on fire, baby. He's on fire. Get in there. Get in there, Dom. Four goals in nine matches for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I made a bold choice to start him over Beto after Beto got a hat-trick in the last video. But... It was proved correct here and now. Dominic Calvert-Lewin done really well with his pace there. Come on, have him, Patterson. Have him. Have him 1v1. Go on. I'm defending really well in this game, actually. In comparison to previous, uh, previous games, I'm defending extraordinarily well. Have I spoke too soon? I might have. Oh, no! How does he get that rebound? Mason Mount was just waiting there. What a bloody diving header. And I did speak too soon, unfortunately. Duranville from Atoma. We're going to make that change. But look at this play from United. That was phenomenal. McTominay hits the post. Comes straight back up. But Tarkovsky, if you had gone with your head instead of your foot, you might have got there first ahead of Mount. The last 30 minutes now. What a tackle! Nathan Patterson with a beautiful tackle. That's what I want to see in real life. Nathan Patterson playing ahead of Ashley fucking Young. Is that so much to ask? 38-year-old Ashley Young, who's cost us bloody six, seven points this season already. Or a young international who's going to only get better. Ashley Young's at the end of his career. Patterson's just starting his. Like, give Patterson a chance, man. Fucking hell! Yeah, I, I told you guys it's coming. Like, there's nothing I can fucking do about it, man. It's ridiculous. They just decide United want to score. Oh, yeah, lovely. Lovely! This game is the most frustrating game in the world, honestly. It really is. Come on, Duranville. Go! Go! Yes! Come on! We're back in business! Julian Duranville scores and makes it 2 2 immediately. His grey hair disappears when we zoom in, but that's a beautiful goal from him. Come on, baby. Let's go. What a goal. There's a similar goal to Calvert-Lewin, except the opposite side. He just runs in, and Onana can do now to pay it, baby. Come on. 2-2. Two -two. What a game. Hold on, Tark. Tark the snark, they call him. 
Duranville finds Susic. Can Susic get on the end of this? He beats his man, Casemiro, who's about 50 years old. Susic! Yes! 3-2 to the Toffees. What a turnaround. We've turned the game on its head. An Everton lead at Goodison Park against Manchester United. The crowd goes wild. It's a beautiful finish outside of the boot from Susic. And Everton are going to win this match here. Maybe. Maybe, baby. All right, let's go defensive now. Fuck it, I don't care. Let's go. No, 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 not ultra defensive. Let's fucking calm down. All right, it's not going to give me a chance to do it until I fucking, until the ball goes out of play anyway. So let's wait a second. Pickford's ball. No way. This game sucks. This game sucks. There's no two ways about it, man. Like, how are you going to tell me that's what Pickford does there? Look at this from Pickford. Just catch it. And of course, goes right to a United player who finishes it. Branthwaite ducks under it for some reason. 3-2, just after I went defensive too. Lovely. Well, now we have to settle for a point, really. Oh my God. Oh my God, what a turn. Harrison, it's all you, baby. It's all you, Jack. Come on, win this game for us, Jack. It has to be, surely. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I didn't mean to skip the celebration. I meant to bloody press X to celebrate, but I think I, I skipped it by accident. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow that whistle, ref. <laughs> oh my goodness. EAFC didn't want me to win that game, but I did, baby. What a win that is. That has to be the win of the season and the game of the season here at Goodison Park. A 4-3 victory. For the Toffees. I felt like I actually defended much better in that game too. The fact that we conceded three is beyond me. But we scored four. And the Toffees win. Mason Mount just disappears off your screen. Oh my god. That's absolutely tremendous. That is absolutely genuinely tremendous. It's hard to believe. Expected goals. 1.6 for us. 3.5 for United. I told you that we should not have won this game. But we did. We bloody well did. Luka Susic is your man of the match. Calvert-Lewin, Duranville, and Jack Harrison and Patterson all had good games as well. But Luka Susic, with a goal and an assist, takes the man of the match award for the Toffees. Duranville was class as well, to be fair. The team showed what they're capable of today, and we're going to keep that form going. We've won three of our last four now. We were up against an excellent team, and we did excellently. So much, All right, Manchester United are in the top four. We're down in 15th, hopefully not anymore. We've got Liverpool at Anfield in the round of 16 of the Carabao Cup next. I'm scared, but this should be good. All right, we have Liverpool, and then we have uh, Fulham next. I want to I wanna win this game, though. I want to win this game, baby. Press conference against Liverpool. Let's do it. Why are you sticking with Onana? He needs to play games to get his form back. I mean, is he not in form? I don't know. Who do you expect to go through? We have to believe in ourselves. Simple as that. All right, we will believe in ourselves to go okay. through. Yeah, no, no. And that's the goal. The last 16 of the cup against Liverpool here. And I'm going to start Deli Ali. There's a couple of tired players now. I'm going to start Beto. I'm going to start Elvedi. I'm going to start Branthwaite and Elvedi together. Patterson's gone up to a 76. Nice to see. And we'll start Pedro Parra. I'm going to start Tyler Adams over... So we're going to go with this team. Pickford, Patterson, Elvedi, Branthwaite, Para, Adams, Garner, Ganonto, Duranville, Ali, and Beto. We might have to start a few or rest a few players in the Fulham game. But, I mean, this is more important. Five minutes. It's 8 p.m. in the rain on legendary difficulty. Darren Drysdale is the referee. It's the last 16 of the Carabao Cup here. Let's see if Everton this can go through it at Anfield. The park, as the locals say. The park I'm ready for this Stanley game, boys. Park. I'm the nervous. Of land that separates these two great Merseyside rivals. Come on, baby. Patterson. Drive Klopp and me having a little argument. Salah scores. Adams can't believe it. Hello from or was it Diaz that scored? I don't know. Either way, let's go. What a game. A huge game here in the grand scheme of this season and this club's history. Here's Patterson on the march. Nathaniel Patterson. Beto! Oh my god, Allison comes and claims it. Patterson finds Deli Alley. That was the first real chance of the game. Deli Alley back to Beto, but Van Dyke clears it. And Everton are knocking on the door here. Patterson! 
save by Allison. He was onside as well, you know. I thought for sure he was going to be offside. Oh, good save, Pickford. And Para clears it. Win that Beto. Yes, Beto. Yes, lad. Brilliant from Duranville. Finds Beto. And Everton are on that counter attack that we know and love. Finds Deli Alley. Deli Alley scores. Come on. Yes. What a finish by Deli Alley. His hair changes mid switch again. But that's okay. Because he's on the score sheet. His dreads are gone in an instant. He scores a goal. Oh, Allison hit, hit that with his foot. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize that at first. I thought it just, he bent it around the keeper, but Allison got a touch on it. It still went in. Deli Ali, who's captaining the side today, scores for Everton in the 20th minute and makes it 1 0 to the Toffees. Number 20 scores in the 20th minute. No, 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 no. What am I doing? That was stupid defending. Good save, double save from Pickford. No, he couldn't get the triple save. The angle was crazy. But Diaz scores. Completely on me that I was I was dicking about there at the back it felt like almost. But look at Pickford makes a great double save, but Luis Diaz is on hand there from the angle. I didn't think he was gonna be able to score that, but unfortunately Pickford couldn't pull off the triple save. It would have been incredible if he did. That was probably the easiest save of the three as well, but he can't make it stick stick and clock goes crazy. And Liverpool are back on level terms here and in, in, uh, within ten minutes, pretty much. That's a horrible challenge, man. Oh, don't do this! Oh, what a goal. Fuck's sake, man. Poor defending for both goals now. That's poor for me. Gakpo scores. Makes it 2-1 to Liverpool. And the game's been turned on its head. There's just so many goals in this video. I don't even understand it. We haven't been having that many goals recently. But Gakpo does incredibly well there. Beto does well there, you know. One of the worst balls I've ever seen, though. <laughs> what the hell was that from Beto? Oh, Lord, that's because there's no one in the box, I'm guessing. But okay, 2-1. If we can get to halftime at 2-1, I'll take it. You know, we can, we can come out second half and uh, and attack the game. Well done, Duranville. Well done, Duranville. Maybe we can get in at 2-2. Oh, that's really good defending. He covered it well. He read me like a book. I thought Gananto was going to be through there. Well, a decent position for Liverpool what the to be fuck in. was I doing there? Slide him. Oh no, I oh, fucked it. I botched it horribly here. What a tackle, Elvedi! Covers beautifully and he gives a big fist pump as well. Well done, Elvedi. Yes, Branthwaite, lad. Beautiful from Jared. Can't get the ball away, though. What the fuck was that clearance from Branthwaite? And it's 3 1 now because of that. Branthwaite, I tried to pass it to Granville and it's the weakest piss-poor pass I've ever seen after a great tackle as well. Fuck's sake. Harrison for Duranville, sure, let's do it. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Look at this pass here. No, I'm not even going to see it. Well, like, I don't understand why he passed it like that, though. Oh, Gananto turns his man just ever so well. And Willie G's on the march here. Willie G finds Beto. Beto finds Calvert-Lewin who's just on the pitch. <gasps> How do we not score? How we're right back in this game if that goes in. We're right back in this game if that goes in. I can't believe it. Oh no. Salah's too good, man. A near post finish again. Fuck off, FIFA. The near post finishes are a joke in this game. They always score from them. Like, where's Pickford? What's Pickford doing? Not covering his front post, that's for sure. Good save. Wow. What a save from Pickford, but I think this game is just going to be us trying to survive now for the last little bit. Oh, yeah. Pass the ball to yourself there, Tyler Adams. That'll really help you with your game time. All right. 4-1 to Liverpool, unfortunately. I don't think it was a 4-1 game. I think that scoreline is very harsh on us. I think we battled really well in this game. A couple of poor moments defensively. Um, I, I feel like I, I was definitely not as solid defensively in this game as I was in the United one. Um, and that's what cost us. And Klopp is going to go on and do his customary bullshit. And uh, Everton lose 2-1. 4-1, rather. We did some good things in the game, but it just wasn't good enough. Thanks, that's all the questions we have for you. Scoreline was harsh, as I said. Craven Cottage next. Fulham are second from bottom on 19... Uh, sorry, on 7 points. And we are 13th on 13 points. 
Um, and we're looking to climb the table, baby. Let's have a look. So if we win this game, we could potentially be in the top half, you know? That's how close it is down here. We're only three points off West Ham in eighth. All right, Fulham against Everton. Let's see what we can do, boys. Check the squad hub as well. Just stats-wise, see how people are going. Beto's our top scorer with seven. Calvert-Lewin has four. Deli Ali has three. Susec and Duranville have two. Harris and Ganonto both have one. Assists-wise, Lucas Susec has six, which is incredible. Harrison, Deli Ali have three. Pedro Para two. Willy Ganonto two. Beto two. And Patterson and Duranville one. Such a shame about Matoma. I was really excited about that signing, man. And the glitch has just fucked us. All right, Craven Cottage. We need a win here to propel ourselves into the top half. We beat Man United last time out in an incredible performance. 4-3. Let's see what we can do here now. Marco Silva, the former Everton manager, having a few words with the current one. Shaking hands with Marco. Here we go. The Premier League are corrupt. We're flying the flags. Let's go, baby. They should get those Premier League corrupt signs put in the game. Be great. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, they have the purple signs in there. <laughs> All right, boys, come on. Wow, why did he leave it? I feel like both of our center backs just left it. I think it was a little too high for him or something. Oh, no. And I dragged him out of position. Good penalty. For what? For what? Huh? Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. My I think God. he's got it right. What a piss take. I never have saved the penalty in this game yet, by the way. Since they changed it, I don't Can think I've saved one penalty. One but I have now! Pickford saves it! Huge save! Come on, Jordan. Terrible penalty from Harry Wilson and a big save from Jordan Pickford. Come on, lads. That's huge, that is. Godfrey clears, but of course it's right to Hurta. Whoever the fuck that is. Good tackle. Good tackle. Can we get the ball and just keep it for a few fucking seconds, maybe? No is the answer! No! I can't. I'm so brain dead right now. It's insane. Who the fuck is Mbabu? It was coming. I mean, there was nothing I could do to fucking stop it. There was. I could have played better, but I didn't. It was just relentless pressure from Fulham, and they eventually well, score. Sasalusic, or Sakalucic, whatever the fuck his name is, I don't give a damn anymore. It's bullshit, man. Like, literally, I could not keep the ball for more than five seconds there. Fulham were completely relentless. Ginanto finds Godfrey. Come on now, please, let's get back in this game. Ginanto. Ginanto, back to Susic! Oh, good save. Good save from the keeper. I thought it was going to be 1-1 already. Not so. Great tackle from Willie G. Great tackle from Willie G. And he finds Calvert-Lewin. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Calvert foul! Penalty of our own. Blatant foul. It's got to be a yellow as well, surely. No card, really. Come on, that was cynical. So it's about to shoot. To do the duties here. And now to level the game. Calvert Lewin scores! I'll tell you, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was actually trying to go the way the keeper dived, but I didn't. And Calvert Lewin scores down the middle. 1 1. That's huge. Come on. Calvert Lewin scores in back to back games, and the Toffees are back. Well, here's the replay, and the goalkeeper dives early. The goalkeeper dives early, and Calvert Lewin, thank God that it didn't work to go that way, because that would have been an easy save for him, I'd say. Raul Jimenez on the bench there. He could be a factor in the second half. We'll have to wait and see. Come on, baby. That's a huge goal for us. We're back in this thing immediately. Hold on, Patterson. Well done, Nathan Patterson. Beautiful. Susec finds Elvedi, who steps out from the defence. Calvert-Lewin. That's so bad. Turn around and hit it on your right foot, and we're in. Literally, we're in. Susec was on the run, and we were in. If Dom could have passed it there. He scores the penalty, but that's shocking from Dom. We'll just take a look at the stats. They've certainly been you can play through it, though. Susech. Oh, it was actually Harrison. I was trying to find Susech, but I should have just kept going with Harrison a little bit longer, you know. I think we were uh, we were in. Yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely cracks in Fulham's defense, but when 
you're trying to play out from the back. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. You should just bullet it forward. But they just keep coming forward then. It's relentless pressure. It's hard to play against this one. Uh, Fulham have been good. No, don't let them score before after. Fuck off with the bounces every time. Going straight to them. And why has the fucking whistle not been blown yet? It's insane. Absolutely insane, man. What the fu- How did he get that much power on that header? Man, I mean, we're just not going to win this game. I can tell. Like... It's just relentless. It's relentless, and I can't do anything about it, man. Beto for calvert I'm sure. Dom, you've got your goal. Beto, it's your turn. I'd love to see the possession stats. It's got to be about fucking 500 Fulham. 500% possession to Fulham. 3-1. I just can't get the ball at all this game. Like, it's ridiculous. And they just are fucking continuously at my goal all at all times, man. That's a shocking challenge. Like, look at that. I won the ball, but he drags me back and fucking wins it right back off me. No free, nothing. It just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense, man. Poor one. I, I was just never winning this game. It's two 4 1 fucking defeats in a row. After an insane 4 3 win, the rest of the video has been fucking dire. The Liverpool game was at least competitive. This one hasn't been competitive in the fucking least. Yeah. Again, if Pickford wasn't insane, this would be about 8 1. I'm not even exaggerating. 8 1. If Pickford wasn't on top of this game. Look at this. Expected goals 7.0. I've never seen an expected goals that high in my life. Ever in my life have I seen mixed, but they had 19 shots compared to my two. Like, I just don't understand how that is the same difficulty as what I've been playing on. Like, the difficulty changes match to fucking match. It's ridiculous. It's honestly, it makes me just want to fucking delete the game off my console and never play it again. It does. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Because when you get the games where the difficulty is good, they're so fucking fun. Like, they're fun. The game is really fun, but then you just get those random games like that, where they have fucking seven expected goals and 19 shots. I'm done with this game for now. Anyway, I'm taking a break.